You may know Roberto Aguirre Sacasa as the writer, producer, and director of the hit CW teen drama Riverdale. But now he's the force behind Netflix's upcoming Supernatural series, Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. Today he joins us with actress Michelle Gomez, who stars in the show as Mary Wardell, Sabrina's favorite teacher who turns evil. Take a look. Everyone, please give a warm build brunch welcome to Roberto Aguirre Sacasa and Michelle Gomez. Thank you, so Thank you so much for being here. I, I anyone who knows me or anyone who's watched this show knows that I love Satan, I love darkness, I love witches. <laughs> yeah. And true. I was a huge fan order. of the Sabrina, the old Sabrina show. And when I watched this, I felt like you made this for me. Mm. I am just... You're just welcome. So, <laughs> so grateful. I love how dark it is. The balance of good and evil in this show is so well done with everything from the casting and everything. Um, but how, like, what inspired you to go this dark and with Sabrina? You know, I think um, growing up, I really, uh, I really loved all of the Archie comic book characters. Sabrina is one of the Archie comic book characters. But I also was a fanatic for horror movies and horror novels, you know, Stephen King novels. Um, and uh, uh, a long time ago, I thought, gosh, you know, it would be so fun to do a mashup of Sabrina the Teenage Witch with something like The Exorcist or Rosemary's Baby. Um, and so about four years ago, I did a comic book called The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. Um, which was was basically retelling Sabrina's origin, like uh, she was the kid from The Omen, yeah. and uh, and and people really responded uh, to that, and then kind of one thing led to another, and <laughs> here we are. <laughs> And what was the casting process like? Because I also was a fan of the original series, and then I love the new additions of like the cousin and the teacher that she has this connection to. So what was that? I have to like? tell you, this lady here, <laughs> I and I've said this to her, I've never seen an audition like the one she gave to play oh uh, Mary Wardle, Madam Satan. She had everyone in the palm of her hand. It was so, so good. Uh, 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 the, the casting was great. I mean, everyone, you know, we got all of our first choices. And, and, and everyone just is this part. Michelle is... Madam Shelley is Madam Satan. It's so good. It is You're true. so good. So how Thank did you. you get involved in the project exactly? Um, uh, well, the the script came to me via my um, my my representatives, and uh, and then it was it was just full steam ahead. That's yeah. all I would talk about. That's all I wanted to do. <laughs> um, I'd come off the back of another project, and I thought I would never get a chance to play another part like that again. And then. In came Madam Satan, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and it just yeah it became my life's work to make that happen. And what is the preparation like when you are a satanic sorceress? <laughs> it's uh, it's not it's it's um this doesn't reflect well on me. <laughs> it's not it's not much of a stretch. <laughs> um, but uh, but all joking aside, uh, the every character, regardless of whether we've we're we're just a handmaiden from from, from the devil yeah. possessing a body, would suggest that we're not a real person. Person, um, but Roberto manages to somehow uh, give us all deliver well-drawn characters of three-dimensional uh, species that um, you end up caring about, and you shouldn't, and you shouldn't care about Madam Satan, but of course you do. Well, the, 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 incre the incredible scene in the first episode when your character makes that transformation, the next scene when she wa when she walks <laughs> down the hall in her hair, oh, the, the greatest subtle difference, head it is so the most of all iconic. Time. I was, I couldn't, I, I couldn't help but go, yes. <laughs> <laughs> No, I wouldn't say that. I was like, it was a. There was a take yeah. where I was doing. Of yes. course, that because your take, entire yeah. posture changed. Yeah. Like yes. it was like your transformation. Into it was that incredible. Was so yeah. but what no. I love about your character is, and which is so great at the show, is how three dimensional everyone is, and like 
kind of in a way she's actually looking out for Sabrina, perhaps a little bit selfishly, but to, for Sabrina to reach her total fullest potential of her power, which is a kind of this like dark way of female empowerment, which I kind of like. There, there, that is absolutely there. There are issues, there are themes that we, that we touch <clears throat> upon. Uh, mainly female empowerment is absolutely there. Um, bullying is an issue, individualism, you know, inclusiveness. Um, we touch on all of these themes beautifully and in a way that is channeled through the characters that you fall in love with. Um, Madam Satan, I feel, really is there to take down the patriarchy yeah. that we are all extremely bored of now. <laughs> it, Woo! It, <laughs> it's, it's, it's over, guys, right? You know, and I think a lot of men would agree with that as well. Yeah, you know, totally th there's agree. a lot of good men out there, ladies, you know, and they're not all bad. <laughs> and, uh, and it's time for us to stand up. And I love that Madam Satan is there whispering in Sabrina's ear, um, who is she packs a punch, that girl. She's yeah. built like a Jack Russell, but she can bite. <laughs> yeah. and, and, and so she has that thing, you know, she has a glint in her eye. Mm -hmm. um, and that's not just Sabrina, that's Kieran and Shipka. Yeah. That yeah. girl has a yes. glint yeah. in her eye. And, and so does Madam Satan. And so, you know, it's a sort of, it's a, kind of a match made in heaven, really. Yeah, for sure. Um, and, and it's exciting <laughs> yeah. to help her cross to the dark side. And, and I really think that that speaks to a lot of, um, our audience out there that are coming to that stage in their life where they're, they're going from innocence mm -hmm. to adulthood. Right. And, and that's tricky. That's a tricky transition. And, and I think this show will help them navigate that. Mm -hmm. You know, there's something for every one of them, shape, size, color, breed, whatever, breed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, yeah. I love dog. <laughs> uh, and um, so that's why I think this, there, there's no show, genuinely, I really passionately believe there's no show like this out there right now that will speak to so many people yeah. totally. on so many levels. Because the female empowerment is not just on the witch, witchcraft side. You see her in her school. Yeah making sure that everybody feels included. So why was that important to put into the storyline? Kind of reflecting well, what's going on with teens right now. Yeah, you know, when, 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 um, I, had my, my, when I first met Kiernan, we, we talked about, before there was even a script, um, uh, we talked about how the, the show was inherently about a girl who always questioned authority mm -hmm. and who always stood up for the underdog. Mm -hmm. That was just who she was. You guys know, you know, down on Wall Street, there's that giant yeah. Wall Street ball. Yeah. And you remember that they that they put up the statue of the fearless girl. Yeah. And there was some controversy. The guy who did the ball didn't want the fearless girl to be standing opposite. Yeah. When I pitched the show, I had a picture of the fear of the ball. And then I had a picture of the fearless girl. And I said, that's Sabrina. She's standing up to this. Right. And she will mm -hmm. always stand up uh, against the 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 forces of evil against the dark lord, against the evil principal, <laughs> against the, the football players who are hurting her friend Susie. That's just, we just bake that into the character. Um, um, and for Kiernan, it was really important that Sabrina be a role model mm -hmm. for young girls. And uh, even though she herself is a young, young woman. Uh, uh, and that's just something that we've always, that, that's a theme that we come back to over and over again. It's, it's, it's sort of, baked into the DNA of, of witches and witchcraft. Definitely. And speaking of when you pitched the show, um, it's really interesting the kind of the, the life this idea had. And originally, you, you maybe were going to introduce Sabrina in Riverdale. Mm -hmm. what, what ultimately was the decision you decided not to do that? You know, it was a couple of things. Um, I think that the, um, the big, the, the um, you know, some of the decisions happened way above my pay grade. Okay. Uh, for me, the, 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 the and, I, and, and in a way, it would have been so much easier to do this on the CW and have it as a companion piece to Riverdale. The, the advantage of going to a place like Netflix is twofold. One is we can really make it a horror yeah. series. Mm -hmm. Like we can really have some gore and we can really have some scares and we can really talk about things like cannibalism and we can, <laughs> yeah. and we can have the devil, you know, so, you know the, the devil can be the villain. Um, the other thing is, you know, when you do a network show, every episode has to be 41 minutes mm -hmm. and 40 seconds. Right. And uh, on Netflix, the episode can be, you know, anywhere from 32 minutes to uh, 60 minutes. Wow. So if I want to turn in a 54-minute episode or 52 or three, uh, so it's nice to be able to explore the characters a little more um, with a little more dimension, a little more uh, time and breath. Yeah. yeah. 
Will we ever see these two worlds collide ever? Oh, lady, I hope so. Okay. <laughs> I would love it. I would love it. I have, there, there are a couple, like two or three stories that would be great stories. Uh -huh. I mean, right now, I think the focus is on launching nice. Sabrina and making sure Sabrina stands on her own two feet, which she does very nicely. And to make sure that uh, season three of Riverdale is, is the best season of Riverdale, I think it is. But I would love there to be a crossover. I think we would too. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, but um, going to Netflix, which I'm so happy Netflix like invests in shows like this because like what Shannon was saying, I, I love fantasy and magic. What I really liked about it is your exploration of magic is incredibly dark. And the way we're used to, like, you know, Harry Potter, maybe Lord of the Rings, it's more of a lighter view of what magic can be. So was when you went to Netflix, that ultimately convinced you like, okay, let's make it this dark, or you always had that in mind, like it was always it was always pretty dark, and you know, I always said stuff like you know, you're not, it's very, you're not going to see like witches flying around on brooms. Yeah. You're not going to see fire, you know, fireballs. Well, I mean, never <laughs> say never. And, and, and you, in fact, you might see stuff like that, but that it was, it would be more occult. Right. Mm. And, and it would be, it would be more like the witchcraft in, in Rosemary's Baby mm -hmm. or, you know, there's a wonderful Italian horror film called Suspiria, mm -hmm. uh, that it would be more like that as opposed to Harry Potter, mm -hmm. Yeah. Cloaks and all that, all that stuff. That it would be, that it would be darker, um, and that, that 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 was sort of always baked into the DNA of okay. of, of the vision for the show. Yeah. Well, it worked. Yeah. <laughs> it worked. Oh, it worked. so good. I watched it with my cat, and my cat literally gulped during the scene, <laughs> and I was like, maybe she's too young for this. <laughs> but I love it so much, Roberto, Michelle. Thank you thank so you. much for being here. Such a pleasure. Thank you. You can thank catch you. the Chilling Adventures of Sabrina when it drops on Netflix on October 26th. That's all from us. We'll see you Monday, same time, same table. Thank you, thank you guys.